Kites, Mark Laura and George are a 2014 line. So the midseason just kind of rolled in with this, so we can call it all 2014. So this will be current until next March when we do another midseason release. <laughs> um, I'll just go in order on the paper here, the draft. You guys are a little bit familiar with that, high performance free ride race. Um, just sits really far in the window, far forward in the window, so it shoots up wind. Really efficient, it's a good race kite, but more people are buying it now for its boosting ability. Boost really big, long hang time because it's a high aspect ratio. Um, it's got five struts in the smaller sizes and three struts in the bigger sizes. That way when it's really cranking, you get the stability of the five struts. And when it's light, you get the performance, light wind capability of three struts. So what would you say is a better light wind kite than fly or that 17? It's tough, they're different. The, the draft sits really far forward in the window, the fly sits a little bit further back in the window and pulls really hard. So I'd say the fly is a better light wing kite, it's more like the ultra light wind, whereas the draft's a little more higher performance. So you're gonna get you know a faster ride, bigger jumps with the draft and light wind, but you're gonna be able to ride in lighter wind with the fly and a little bit easier relaunchability. So this is a little more high performance, the fly's a little more forgiving all around. Um, the torch stayed pretty much the same this year, just slightly skinnier struts to improve the low end, make it a little lighter, loop a little quicker. Um, but other than that, we found something that works, so we kept it. Uh, the park is pretty similar, but the biggest difference is the new static bridle. So no more pulleys on the bridle for the park, creating a little bit more direct feel, a little bit more bar pressure. Um, helps it sit a little more forward in the window and drive power through the turns. So feels just really solid this year and definitely my favorite kite. That's my that's gonna be my go-to this year. I think I'm gonna push that one the hardest because it's, it's really really solid this year. I think you guys are gonna really like it. Yeah, and they're already out, right? They just came they're out. out. Yeah, we just got them a week before I left. So just started to get them out. Haven't even got them out to everybody yet. So uh, the Alana, same kite as the Park. Just uh, with the female graphics, the master line, the harness, the board, and the SCP, all the same now. Other than the graphics. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, just the graphics. Other than that, it's completely the same. Uh, different sizes though, just 6, 8, 10, 12. And the bar. And then the bar with the smaller chicken loop and the smaller diameter. On um, the ride cut, you know well. Uh, the two strut, all around free ride, super beginner friendly, but still high performance. I, I still use it in the smaller kites for surf, so my go-to surf kite, just because it's so light, you know, you bottom turn, it drifts back, it's light, and then on the man power, that open center section, just sheet him and go, turn, smack the lip. Still, still one of my favorite kites, awesome kite. Uh, the fly kite, ultra light wind, the two struts, pulls like a tank, all you need is a breath of wind, and you can be cruising around on that. It's really stable, it unhooks, it does everything, so it's, it's one of the best kites in our lives for sure. And then the trip, the last one, it's just uh, one size, 10 meter, no struts, uh, breaks down really, really tiny. It's like it comes in like a little school backpack. Um, we actually brought that backpack with us. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a cool backpack that comes with it. It's a good selling point. And uh, it's just a good travel kite. It's, it's a little tough. If you crash it, it gets water on it, you might not be able to relaunch it. It's one of the downsides of it, but other than that, it's a really efficient kite. It's really light in the air, playful. I didn't have really well. Relaunching. Yeah, if you crash it normal, it, it'll relaunch better than most kites because it's so light. But there is, like, if you're in the waves and you get a wave over it, it's, it's not going to bounce back up. I guess, yeah. But other than that, it's uh, it's a solid all-around kite. Great to have in the bag if you're traveling and not sure if you're going to kite or not. So.